We're just back at the, the home studio that we're working on. Obviously this is going to be a split room. Today we're going to get all the electrics in the wall on the two rooms. We're also going to get all the insulation in. So we got our first layer of insulation going in all the walls and the ceiling. And then this room is going to have the room within a room. So we're going to do a second layer of insulation, which is going to go against the outer wall. So we're going to get electric stored and insulation today. And then tomorrow we'll hopefully get the inner room in here. This is going to be sort of standard garden room side really. So this is going to have insulation in and then OSB and then one layer of plasterboard. Obviously got the window there. These are going to be bifold doors here. So yeah, let's get to it. So first job for me is going to be to clean off the base plate here. And I'm going to use the Milwaukee battery operated Hoover. And I'm going to put some of this OB1 multi-surface adhesive, which goes off underwater. It's great. So that's just going to run along the base plate here and obviously make sure it's nice and watertight. Uh, so I get that done first. wooden fork technique. So, we've got the silicone going around the base plates. BJ just doing a bit of electrics there. Um, so, silicone on both sides, we've done all that. So what I'm gonna do now is actually put a bit of silicone down all the joins in the panels, which is probably a little bit of overkill, but we'll obviously make sure it's nice and tight where it joins. So I'll just do that quickly now, and then I'll get onto some of the lighting electrics. Okay, so what I thought I'd just run through quickly is how the ventilation works. So, a couple of things, we've got a vent hole here, which is a four inch hole. And what we'll do is we'll have a six meter length of ducting. We'll go from there, and we'll run it sort of, this is going to be a second ceiling in here, so it can run in the roof void. So this will go somewhere down here, all the way down here, and then it'll probably come out through the ceiling here. As it just, so it's like a passive vent. So this, this vent here, we've got a 1.5 feed going to a fan outside, which will be the waterproof box. This will then come from the vent. It'll again travel underneath the roof, over to this side, and this will be mechanically sucking air out of the room. It's roughly rated 185 kilometers an hour, so it'll pull that out. It's about three or four air exchanges an hour, so it stops the buildup of CO2, and, you know, other sort of things, other gases, smells, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this will come out of the roof here, um, and then on the other side, as it draws the air out, it'll passively bring the air back in. Yeah, so that's how it works. You'll do the ring, mate. We've done this room in terms of electrics. So we got the ring main in all the way around here. It's getting a bit dark now. Um, we've got lighting banks gonna be here. So the door's gonna open this side here. So got the switches and stuff there. Obviously, as mentioned, we got the fan there. Four way spots or feed for that is gonna be there. Just doing this room while, so me and PJ are doing electrics in here. Jacob's bringing all the rock wool down, so this is going to go the first layer of insulation. So we're going to get that done, and then hopefully we'll get this room done. So we're just back at the studio this morning. We're going to be doing some more rock rolling on the inner shell. So let's just have a quick look around and see where we're up to. If you haven't seen the beginning of this, this is going to be bifold doors. This is more of a sort of garden room, sort of control room. So it's like a single skin, some insulation and acoustic properties and soundproofing, but not a room within a room. This is going to be a single skin room. Got a window going there. And then through here, is going to be the room with the piano in so we're gonna have a grand piano in here this is gonna be a double skin room so we, today we're gonna to put some more rock wool against the wall here um, and then get the inner shell in so this will be super soundproofed 
So with three layers of insulation and decoupled from the main structure. Obviously door here, window, studio window with layers of glass in. The wall's gonna come out this way. So yeah, we got all the, the insulation done on the first part yesterday. Got all the electrics in. We got ring main going round in each room. Uh, lighting circuits. Yeah, it's all taking shape. So it's a really cold one today. It's about minus one, zero degrees, something like that. So it's pretty cold. So uh, hopefully we'll uh, make some good progress today. Just in the double soundproof room, so the, the more heavily soundproofed area of the studio. So we got a second layer of insulation in. We mechanically fix this with a 100 mil screw and a washer, just so that kind of stays uh, together before we get the, um, the inner part of the shell in. Uh, so yeah, that's all covered. We keep the ceiling as one layer, and then there's an air gap, and then the sort of inner roof. It all sounds very different in here as well. Um, you can probably hear in my voice, it zaps up a lot of the sound. It's a pretty hostile environment, or it feels like it when it's this color and obviously exposed rock wall. So um, yeah, we're gonna get the, um, the base plates down now for the inner shell. We've put a damp proof uh, coarse or DPC sort of rolls, about 225 mil on the floor for that rock wall to sit on just to make sure no uh, moisture comes through the concrete base. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're on to the next stage and uh, hopefully we can get this inner shell in uh, in the next couple of hours. <laughs> We're just back at the epic home recording studio in West London. Let's just have a little look around and see where we got into last time. So today we're going to be doing the plasterboarding in the two rooms. Um, so just start with this one. This is the room within a room. This is going to have the, it's like the live room of the studio. Um, so we're going to put uh, plasterboard on this, two layers on the walls and the ceiling. This room is more of a garden room type room because it's got obviously the bifold doors which are going to let a bit of sound through really so but in terms of the walls we're going to put osb because it's just a single skin wall and because we've done 60 sensors for the uh the rock wall to fit in we're going to osb these off we've already pre-cut those and then plasterboard over the top and then a couple of layers of plasterboard on the ceiling just to keep that nice and uh chunky so yeah, we're just gonna grab all the tools and get everything down here. It's just me and PJ today. Hello. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna get set up, have some lunch, and then try and get this done, this room done today, and then the other room tomorrow. Okay, guys, me and the human stud finder are gonna start getting the OSB boards. Is that thunder? Uh, we're gonna get the OSB boards on here, and then once we've done that, we'll be getting onto plasterboarding. Why well, you have some kind of sonic <laughs> rocks? <laughs> That's about half the room done, or maybe, a, yeah, about half the room. Just gonna get the armored cable through now for the main supply and then carry on this way. This is serious OSB footing. Thank you. 
Okay guys, that's the OSB on, uh, the bits that we actually put in the workshop, ready to go on for when we got here. They all fitted, that, that's all on. There's gonna be another layer on top of this, which is gonna be plasterboard, uh, 12 and a half mil. Uh, on the front, we put some 11 mil OSB just to match in with the beam. And then we'll put another layer of 18 mil OSB over the top of that, and then a layer of plasterboard. Two layers of plasterboard on the ceiling. We've got a little bit of insulation to go in there as well. The reason we're using OSB on the uh, walls is because we're around 60 on centers with the timbers. So it's a little bit too flexible for plasterboard. So we put this on, helps with the soundproofing as this is only a single skin wall uh, in this part of the studio. So we've got OSB, timber, OSB, then plasterboard. Obviously in the other room, if you haven't seen the first video, which uh, links in the description. This is a double skin room, like a room within a room. So this one's gonna be plasterboarded. So it doesn't need OSB because we've done the uh, 40 on centers on this one. Getting on well, aren't we, Peach? Christmas. In fact, <laughs> what day is it? 20th. Is it? Mm. Okay. Early Christmas, last job. Well, we're here tomorrow, obviously, but we're back to the hotel soon and um, it's quite late. It's getting on. We're going to have a drop of whiskey. Cheers, my, my friend, Mr. PJ Williams. Cheers, man, then go. All the best. Mm, it's good, that, isn't it? <clears throat> Soundproof and I'll turn you to drink. Well, hello. <laughs> I say. <laughs> <laughs> you need you some Freddie Mercury. <laughs> you come here often. Mm. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> it's good. It does warm me up a bit, doesn't it? So does carrying 18 sheets of plaster. <laughs> That's the main room plasterboarded. Two layers of plaster on the ceiling, one layer of plasterboard on the walls and a layer of 18 mil OSB just to give it a bit of rigidity. We're just about to do the more soundproof room, which as I'm walking through it, you'll notice the difference in my voice straight away. And obviously it's a lower ceiling because it's a room within a room. This one's double plasterboard on the walls and ceiling. It's, I think it's around 23 sheets. <laughs> it's quite a lot uh so we're gonna get the ceiling on and then just see what sort of time we're at because we've got to travel back to the north and we're in west london at the moment so last day before we finish for christmas in terms of the sort of panel sizes these are made to 120 so that will take a sheet of plasterboard uh so that's a 120 panel this is a 120 panel this is smaller, so what we normally do is start plasterboarding this way. So the first layer will finish sort of not on a vertical stud, it'll finish about here. And then we'll sort of carry that on. Then we'll stagger them plasterboard this way. So the plasterboard will finish exactly on a stud. The new one will start here. You've got the one behind covering that over. So it sort of staggers it all the way round. These side pieces, because they're quite small, just go straight on as double. That'll be double, um, and this wall will be able to sort of stagger. And the ceiling, sort of similar kind of thing. This is slightly shorter than a 120, so if we put our first sheet on here, it'll go to around there. 
then the next one to about here and then one to the end then when we come back we've got a 120 we'll finish here new one there finish here and then a cut at the end and again it'll all be staggered so none of the none of the joins are actually matching they're all staggered underneath <laughs> Just to show you the second board going on. So this is a, a full board. Obviously we've staggered it. There was a join here going that way. So we've literally just positioned this straight in the back corner there. And obviously we can put a piece in here. Again, it'll be just fill that in. And then it'll sort of cover the, the gaps. We've also got the fan hole mark so there's a vent there so this will be once this is plastered we can cut in a four inch hole for the vent you might have seen that in another video but yeah that's sort of taking shape so that's how we stagger it we're just using standard plasterboard two layers uh what you find is the blue plasterboard sort of tapered uh edge it's a bit more difficult to work with it's just a little bit heavy i think it's 35 kilograms of board um, or 32, I'll have to check that. These are 25. You can also use the Fireline board, which is about 28, 27, 28. It's a little bit uh, cheaper and a bit denser, but because it's a multi-wall system, we find that the two layers of standard plasterboard works as well as anything else. Okay, so uh, let's get the rest of the ceiling on. It's a bit windy today. Okay, that's us done for today and this year. Uh, so just to give you a quick walk around, we've got the, the room plasterboarded. This is gonna be the control room, bifold doors at the front, which are gonna have three doors. This is one gonna be the opening door here, and then obviously they'll slide across. So this will be a, an aluminium opening window. This is 120 by 60. We've done quite a, a chunky job on this. So the outer shell is 18 mil OSB. We've got four by two, which finishes around 89 mil. Then we got 18 mil OSB and then a layer of plasterboard. Two layers of plasterboard on the ceiling. Got our lighting here. So outside lights, inside lights, sockets around the bottom. That's the main incoming feed. The consumer unit will be there. And then this is the more soundproof room. So this is a room within a room. We haven't quite got these two walls done. We're gonna leave that to after Christmas uh, when we come back. So I can sort of get on with plaster in one room whilst the guys are finishing this one. Uh, yeah, so this, this one's gone in all really well. Obviously, door there is gonna be a soundproof door. We're gonna have a couple of layers of glass in the window. Um, aluminium window here, which will be fixed essentially. Um, and then some inner layers of glass just to sort of beef that up. There's a train line quite close to here. So, but yeah, that shouldn't be a problem in here. And then we're gonna have a feed from here into the other room in terms of XLR. So it'll be a, a sort of XLR bank on either side of the wall with uh, one attached to a desk or some kind of input for um, microphones and stuff. Yeah, so. That's me and PJ done for 2023.